while back, guys, I made a video about making a queue system. And today I'm going to be making an updated version on that. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> So what's up guys, it's Continue, and today guys, we are going to be making an updated queue system. Um, yes. So, a while back, probably like a few weeks ago, I don't know, I made a video on how to make a queue system, and I noticed one flaw. It, it was pretty big, very big, it allowed for very, it was a very, it worked, but it was, it didn't work properly. As I wanted it to. So, wait, that was a scary noise. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do slash give tab comm. Oh, comm tab, I mean. That's what I meant. So you got yourself a command block. Now you're gonna wanna make yourself a tight like a queue system. So, I think about, uh, I'm making a current server right now, and, um, in there I did a thing where it was a walk in queue system where you um walked on like uh up like say this was it you walked onto this little green area and when you walked onto it it um detect it um test for a player in this region and it would either if you were in the queue it would leave the queue if you were not in the queue it would join the queue so it was it was a cool system if you want to um if you want me to do a tutorial on that um just drop a like and yeah, so I might do that. So um, we're gonna first want to do a small queue system. So I'm gonna do the most simple one, simplest one, which is a button one. So you're gonna want to just do this, the two buttons, and then come around back and break these two blocks. Now you're gonna take your command block and you're gonna place one here and one here, and then one here, one there, like that, oh no, oh no, don't fall, that's not good, that, yep, exactly like that, uh, you can add more to it, I'll actually add one more command, because I actually want to add, um, a play sound command, these commands are basically going to be the exact same, just the tag is, the, oh actually I'm probably going to need a little bit more, because uh, this one's, I'm going off my old queue design, and you're gonna need like one more command. So I'll actually add that real quick. There. So you're gonna need one a total of four command blocks. And then you're gonna wanna change this to impulse knee threads. Or not I mean chain knee thread stuff. But chain always active. Oh my god. <laughs> chain always active. Chain always active. Chain always active. Okay, and you, this the top one has to be impulse because you can't um power a chained one without it being connected to it. Um, other command box. So now in this first one, uh, let's do join first. We're gonna want to do a nice. Uh, what should we do first? Should we do tell raw command? Oh yeah, let's do tell raw. So slash tell raw at p tag equals not queued. That's the tag we're using is queued. Um, and then you're gonna do space bracket curly bracket. Um, Quotations, then you're gonna take type text, uh, quotations, colon, quotation, and that type your text. I'm gonna do join Q, exclamation point. Now, quotations, comma, quotation, color, quotation, comma, colon, quotation, and then color, green, quotation. Curly bracket, and close it off with a bracket. There you go. So now, if I press this button, it should work. There you go, join Q nice um down here you can obviously make this you don't have to do a teller you can do a say command title action bar you can do whatever you want i i prefer doing tell raw over slash say this say i think you can only do it in command blocks um slash say hello or just say joined q q it just it doesn't look good so yeah I would rather use uh, that and also with this you can use color so that's what I like so down here we're going to be using um, 
we're going to do a, oh wait, you're going to want to first do a scoreboard object, objective. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Um, so you're going to do slash scoreboard objectives add, and you're going to do queued dummy. So this is going to be the name, and this is going to be the criteria type. Boom. Now, oh no. Now right here, you're going to do slash score board players uh, add at p tag equals not queued dot exclamation point by the way means not if you don't have that it means is uh we'll do is for the um, the queued thing over here so not queued people can't just leave the queue they're not in yet and people yeah 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 um, add players add and then you're going to do queued because that's the objective one you're going to do one because it adds one player to the queue and then down here you're going to do your play sound you don't have to do a play sound I would I just prefer it play sound um, we're going to do entity dot experience um, underscore orb dot pick up I know this by heart because I've done like so many failed queue systems and I've used this one so many times master uh, at p tag equals not queued and then you're gonna do these squiggly lines like tildes I think they're called and then one 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 I don't know what those are stand for. I think one's like pitch, volume, something else. I would just keep them all at one. Just, I don't know. Don't mess with it. And then this last one is going to be a scoreboard player, players tag at p tag equals at p tag equals not queued. Um, add queued. So there you go, add it. Now now it should work. Let's listen. Wait, what? Did I mess up? Hold on. I might have messed up. Experience. And, oh, there we go. That's where I messed up. I always spell entity like that. Okay, so let's do scoreboard, players, tag, why continue, remove, queued. There you go. Now it works. Um, you can obviously set this by doing the game rule command block output pulse. Um, yes. So now we're all, now we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna paste that in here and we're gonna remove this that um, exclamation point and we're gonna change this to be left Q and make it red. Red. There we go. Um, it should be all good. Yeah, it's all good. And now down here, we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste that over here. And we're going to remove the exclamation point. If you don't remove it, it will literally ru ruin your entire queue system. This one has to be um, have exclamation points. And this one can't have exclamation points. So yeah, this one you put remove instead of add right there. And then add the exclamation point yep this one we're gonna copy that paste it and for the sound we're going to do um, sound entity villager that's nice spell it villager dot no and then do that remove that and that should be good and now we're gonna copy this paste it over here and remove that and hit and change the add to remove okay so if you watch the old tutorial which I don't rec recommend watching it's really bad um, we just had the tag the tag down here we the new command is this one um, is this is the objective command so that one is really new so now we have this oh not okay 
we have to let's just remove cube and then we do that join left and now see now we're over here um if we click it again it it doesn't do anything because we've already joined it um there's so much more com complex things so like um if you're if you left and you are like click the button and it will say you've already joined the queue or something and i saw one person um had something where you click the sign and if you click it too fast it'd be like you must wait two seconds to click this again i'm like how do you even do that <laughs> i know how to do like the you you've already joined this thing i, I know how to do that that's kind of simple but this the other one i don't understand it's that one's just i don't understand it okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to add the basically the start game so we're going to add a another command here these can all be hidden up like this would probably this probably where your spawn would be right here around by where your queue system is obviously um and this one will probably be like hidden under or in its own area but this one is going to be a repeat always active i'm going to change it on needs redstone for now so it doesn't spam anything but in this command we're going to have um we're going to have command slash test for uh oh wait no we can have this on always active um i don't know what i was saying it's um gonna be test for uh at oh, oops at at a score underscore um cued because that's our objective underscore min equals okay this is important right here the number i put here is important so to so when you start your game like if it's sky wars you would um the number of islands you have is the number you want this number to be because the that is the minimum amount of players you want to hit this queue to be queued for the game to start that's new that is new that it was not in the old one so for this if say if you if it's like duels or something you're gonna put this as two so the minimum of two players need to, oh my god jesus okay so the minimum of two players that um hit this button so say i have another one oh shoot wait wait oh shoot okay hold on um since i kept clicking this like i kept removing the thing it wouldn't it wouldn't remove my uh score because it kept adding up so i'm gonna remove that reset why continue if you get into that just do just do this command right here or right here i mean right there because my mouse goes out <laughs> um so yeah this one right here so i'm just gonna stick as two right now because let's say it's two but if it's like sky wars do the number of islands um bed wars number of islands uh uh hide and seek number of it, it can really be the number of players right then uh, i would just do minimum of probably if you're doing hide and seek probably four but um yeah so that is it time set day thank you very much now you can either i'm going to do a uh chain conditional always active this one is so conditional i just recently found out what conditional was i was so confused what it was so conditional is basically a it's it's a new use for a comparator so you could either put a comparator in place of this like if you did this you can either do a just uh, com I, uh, conditional command block or you can put a comparator there and put it in pulse and then start your chain after that like that but yeah so basically what it does is 
if this one's powered, if this one like is powered and it tests for this um, player, this one will be powered and then it will set up the line of chain command blocks. So I'm going to be using this conditional. So if it tests, if it finds these two players, it will, um, it will say slash, I'll just, use, I'm just say say now for now from, you can do, you can obviously do a, uh, tell raw, but I'm going to, I'm going to do this, a say command for convenience. Um, game is starting. It, I would usually do like a countdown in in 10 seconds. Yay! So if it does that, it will say that it will. The game is starting in 10 seconds. Oh, jeez. Mm. So yeah, that's it. And now I have a new way to do. Like usually in the old one, I was so bad, and I used to have to use these these things. They're so ugly and so useless. Uh, but now I use this kind of one. It's not like I know how to do a redstone one, but that I I like this one a lot better. So for this one, you're gonna need a block and these items. You're gonna want to place a block, place a torch, and then place two, and then that. And then one here, put this one on two, put this one on one, and then just wrap it around. There you go. Now you got yourself a second. So all you got to do is just break that and then place it back whenever you want it. So here you go. We got our thing. And then this one, you're going to want to create a new scoreboard objective. So slash scoreboard objectives add time dummy time dummy um, that's what you want and now on this one you're gonna want you're gonna want to put slash scoreboard players remove or add I would remove because the minutes are counting down if you're doing like a mini game or something that's obviously it's what it's a, what it queues for so um remove it's gonna remove uh remove at a time wait remove okay hold on I'm, I've got brain fart scoreboard players remove remove player objective yeah okay at a I would do time time so like if you're putting it as a sidebar over here which I will it will say time so um, time time player objective count and then it removes one because you want it to go every second not every two seconds probably I don't know whatever you want to do it's uh, now you're gonna want to do command slash scoreboard uh, this is for me but I, I personally like this a lot better um, objectives set display display um, not no I didn't mean to hit tab sidebar and then time the objective right there time and now we have to that's just power this command block because you have to have at least one to be up there so there we what oh yeah yeah you did one there you go now it's up there now we got the timed over there and it's perfect okay so what do we do now we um this one will this one it's not going to this one it's kind of confusing but you're always gonna have to have this thing once the game like is fully out or something and like people are actually playing it you're never gonna want to break this torch this torch is gonna be on even if it's like um minusing time over there it's fine um because i don't know for my servers i usually don't have them set as the sidebar but they do but for this one it will just um it'll just stay as a sidebar but like what you can do is like when the game's on the sidebar can be on but when the game's off you can turn off the sidebar basically with command blocks so because this thing's always going to be running the only thing it's this things how it's going to make is it's going to set it as a um it's going to set a specific score which will set a test a it will 
scoreboard test it. It will test the command, and if it if it finds it, it will play a thing saying like, uh, oh, and it will, it will send a tell where I'll saying like, game will end in three minutes or whatever. Um, so when this one's gonna do that scoreboard players set time time and it's gonna set it to uh, 10 seconds okay 10 seconds so you got 10 seconds so it's gonna have 10 seconds so over here you're gonna wanna don't oh, you know over here I'm gonna put it over here with this so over here you're gonna have right this one actually actually you're gonna need a pre sort of a good amount of space so I'm gonna put it here um, here you're gonna want to make it repeat um, always active and it's going to oh for this one you're gonna want to do slash game rule command block output false because it will it will be like could not find that or something I don't know scoreboard players test time time um, 10 10 I think that's it slash let's check or players test I haven't gotten all of the things down player objective min max yeah okay that's the command so it's min and then max so it's right but it's this number it's these numbers so if it does test for that it's going to run into this one should be conditional <laughs> um it's going to run into a conditional chain command block that's always active. Um, yep, okay. And it is going to say, um, that's going to say, uh, game will, oh wait, over there it already said, wait, right? Yeah, game starting in 10 seconds, never mind. So, um, if it already says that, I don't have to add that. I'm just gonna go down to five because you don't want it flood in chat for 10 seconds. Okay, and go back to conditional, and this one will say, say, game is starting in five seconds. Yay. Um, now add a another impulse or uh, repeat always active, and over here. Conditional, conditional, and conditional, and this one is going to be. Wait, let's just copy this. Four, four. Okay, let's just just copy the command. There you go. Three, two, one. Yep. Oh, and then a zero for like game is starting. Yay. Uh, and then add a command block. Make these all conditional. You can also you can obviously add uh, some cool play sounds to them, uh, but yeah, you don't have to. So I'm going to just copy this command and paste it. Oh my God, dude! Jesus Christ! I forgot I did that because it's not conditional and so he's active. See, this is why you have to have them unconditional because if you had any part commands in there, like anything it would just flood chat or have you want a continuous loop of uh commands yeah it's pretty bad so it will start in four seconds this one is four right yep four this one is it's still four this one needs to be three three this one's two two this one is one one this one is zero zero okay and now in this one get four seconds uh, this one is three seconds this one is two seconds this one is one se se second you don't want to be stupid over here and then uh, just say game is 13 yay hmm. Jeez, that flooded chat. Oh, okay. Eh, that's it. I'm trying to do. There we go. Ooh, okay. So, there we go. We have our thing. And, um, since I don't have two players on here, uh, because uh, I'm lonely, 
I don't have two players on here. I'm just gonna have to add a sim. I'm just gonna have to have to add a fake player to this. So um, by that I'm going to. Do I have my thing reset? Let's just reset it for now. Reset. Join. Are we already queued or something? Okay. Okay. So we're basically just queued already. Um. We are already queued in. So. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, add a fake player, players, uh, players, add, Q, add, uh, let's, let's name him Bob, okay, Bob, Bob is, you know, yeah, Bob, fine, Bob, Q, one, there you go, for player Bob, one. There you go. Now, did this not start? Test for found. Why continue? Why did that not start? Wait a second. Do I have something wrong? Do I have to use a? Sometimes conditional command blocks just do not work out for me. So I might have to just use a. Uh, that might just be the thing. Okay, conditional, conditional. Okay, okay. We set my continue. Let's just set it to two. Why not? Okay. Set at a two. Why does that not work? Oh my god, that's why it doesn't work. Oh my god. Oh, and then, then this one won't work because it needs to be impulse always active impulse okay 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 let's just reset yeah so oh wait okay there's also another command I need to do new shoot that's gonna interfere can I turn this what is that a thing? Yeah, I can, I can turn it. Okay. Okay. Just turn it. So, this is going to be another command here. That's going to do. It's going to do slash scoreboard. Reset at A. It's going to reset all players so it doesn't flood. Okay. So, now we're going to set it to 2. so done <laughs> uh, so dumb there you go game is starting in 10 seconds and now now shoot man <laughs> see this one this is just the struggle so we're gonna wanna uh not have the time be set have the time here have the time just Let's just have the time go down. Okay, that's not good. Have that. Yeah, okay. There you go. Now it's negative one, okay? So let's just continue doing that. Um, now what we do is we do set two. And now it starts. Game starting in 10 seconds. And then here we go. What the heck? Okay, so you know, okay, the thing is, you're gonna want to, I guess, replace these with, uh, with comparators. I'm not gonna do that, but that is basically it for the tutorial, guys. If you want to know more, if you want to know more, or how to, like, teleport the players, but basically what you do is you just test for, um, when the thing is at, like, a certain number, Teleport all players to a certain area, give them a kit, do whatever, play a sound, and then when that, have this same thing, or your own thing, whatever, um, detect when, like, the time's over, or, like, the last player dies, or gets caught, or whatever, and then have them teleport back, and then when two players join again, or how many players you set, it will start a new game. So there is a simple and efficient queue system. I 
hope you guys did enjoy this video. It did take some time to make. Um, and again, um, I forgot at the beginning what I even said, but drop a like for that. I don't even remember what I said at the beginning, so yeah, just, just do that, okay? And, um, I'm out, guys. Peace.